I'm Rachel with Stella Rose. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button for me. And if you are not, welcome back, friends and family. I have now hit 750 subscribers here on my YouTube channel. So this is the giveaway for that. Make sure you stay tuned throughout the entire video because I will give directions so that you are eligible for the giveaway throughout the video. So I'm gonna try to do something different to help me be able to get my edited content out a little faster and in a more timely manner for you guys. I'm gonna do it where I set one project and then I edit that and then a second project and I'll show you that and a third project for each video as I'm doing it. And I think that'll help me stay a little bit more on task so I can get my videos out to you because I have a whole bunch of content that I've recorded that I need to get out to you guys. So let's go ahead and start with project number one. This is a hutch that I purchased for $75 on Marketplace about a year ago. This is the only piece that's left. The bottom piece here, I already painted and sold as a buffet about nine months ago. The top part sat in my basement for nine months until I decided what I was going to do with it. And I painted it and it's a display piece. In doing so though, I had to remove the doors and the glass windows. Once I removed the glass windows and the hardware, I filled the holes with Bondo because it dries quick and it doesn't shrink. Then I thought I recorded the next step, but I didn't. I used a method that Hesfa from Preston Avery Designs showed me. She took candle wax and rubbed it all over the frame, and that's where it'll end up being chippy when I'm all done. After I rubbed that candle wax, I painted DIY's white swan all the way around it, and then when it dried, you see me here sanding it with a 320 grit sandpaper and it became really chippy in all the places that I had put the wax down. Then I brought them inside from the garage and I cut chicken wire to fit the inside of the frame where the glass was at originally. Once the chicken wire was completely secured, I decided to seal this with DIY's clear wax. I thought I would be done at that point, but I didn't like how it was just open on the underside. So I decided to take some jute twine and a hot glue gun and I layered two pieces all the way around the entire inside of the window where the chicken wire met so that it was covered and there was no points or anything sticking out and it gave it a more finished look. Once that was completed, I got my measuring tape out and I measured where the center point was on the back side of the window so that I could install a D-ring to not only hang the window from but to have the wreath from the front hang from as well. And then I installed the ribbon through the wreath and tied it to the back side of the window. And this completed this project. Let me know in the comments if you liked how I used the wax to get the chippy look on the window. and make sure you hit that subscribe button for me to help me grow my channel. Thank you. Project number two. I went to purchase a small little table and the gentleman asked me if I wanted this ladder for free. So I said, absolutely. I sprayed it with DIY's white swan. I put two coats of it on and then it still needed to have some touch up by hand. I then sealed it with DIY's big top and then I added the Redoubt 2 transfer from IOD. This one I really like because you can mix and match and make any design with all kinds of different sizes of roses. 
all over it. It's beautiful. And then it's got a bunch of verbiage as well. So I mixed and matched it all up and down the ladder. When I was all done adding the transfers, I used my DIY big top to seal in the transfer on the ladder. Here it is, all done. Free flips for profit. How do you like the ladder? I think it turned out amazing. So to be eligible for the giveaway, the very first part is you need to be subscribed to this YouTube channel. And then you need to follow me over on my Facebook page. The link will be below in the description box. Stay tuned to the end so that you'll have the directions and be able to follow them so you're eligible for the giveaway. Project number three. I went to a couple of garage sales and these are some of the items that I found. I decided I wanted to make over this umbrella stand. I paid $2 for it and I decided I wanted to dry brush it. So I got out my JRV Cottage Colors in white linen. This is an all-in-one paint and I decided to dry brush all four sides of the basket. After I was done dry brushing it, it just didn't look finished to me. So I decided to add an emblem to the front and I got out my hot glue gun and my Florida de lis mold from IOD and I went to filling the actual Florida de lis mold with the high temperature hot glue. But I just didn't like the way it came out. I, it's worked great for other molds. It just looked really wonky with this one. So I got out some cornstarch and I dusted the mold and then I used my IOD air dry clay and I warmed it up in my hands and got it really soft and pliable and I pressed it into the mold and then I used the micro edge rim to help get the excess off all the way around so it had nice clean sides. Once I was done getting all the excess clay out of it from the micro rim edge, which makes it so easy, I then cleaned up a little bit of the edging on it and then I got my heat gun out so I could dry it. The heat gun gave it a little bit of a harder crust on the outside so that I could paint it with my DIY little black dress. Once I was done painting it with my little black dress, I then used the heat gun to dry the paint. And then after I was done with that, I used Big Top to seal the paint on the emblem. After applying the Big Top, I then took my heat gun and sped up the drying process so that I could install it to the front of the basket. I got out my tight bond, quick and thick, and I applied it to the back side of the Florida de lis and then I glued it to the front of the umbrella basket. Not bad for a $2 purchase at the garage sale. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments. All of the paint and products used in today's video you can find at stellarosboutique.co or in either one of my shop locations in Greenville or Sevierville, Tennessee. We are having a massive sale for Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, and Cyber Monday for all of your DIY needs. We also have a huge variety of gift ideas. The very final step, you need to take this video and share it out with your friends and family. And when you've completed that, comment done. Also let me know what project was your favorite 
in this video. Until next time, I'll see you with the winner of the giveaway. Have a great week, guys. Bye.